Here comes Palpatine. <laughs> so Star Wars Rebels Season 1 is building to a gigantic cliffhanger, with many questions still left unanswered. But there's no need to worry because Season 2 is already finished recording and will soon be done with editing and animation. The question is, what can we expect from Rebels Season 2? Well, Jason Ward, the editor-in-chief of MakingStarWars.net has written about some major spoilers to the next season. So if you want to be fully surprised by what's going to happen next season, this would be a good time to watch one of my other videos. Alright, here we go. So in the article entitled, Three Classic Characters Are in Rebel Season 2 Premiere, Jason Ward tells us that Darth Vader, Emperor Palpatine, and Ahsoka Tanu will all be in the opening of Rebel Season 2. How does he know this, you may ask? Well, the article details that he went to a Marvel comic event at Comics FTW and overheard a Lucasfilm employee talking about the next season. As he explained, the employee was unaware that Jason worked for the website dedicated to Star Wars news, and therefore, this unnamed employee talked openly about the characters who are going to be in the next season. <gasps> so what you're saying is that Ezra and the other Rebels are going to save Kanan, and at that moment, Ahsoka will be revealed, and she will have a huge battle with Darth Vader, and at that moment, Ember and Palpatine will swoop in and kill Ahsoka, and then at that moment, they will always save Amon Mothma and the Great Rebel Alliance, of which they will become a part of, and then become the catalyst for a huge attack, which will eventually lead to the Death Star being destroyed, and then Luke will come along, and they will meet Luke, and they will create a greater team, which then they will go and try to destroy the Death Stars too, and then Tarkin? What if Tarkin was actually killed in Death Star, but what if he was actually part of this other group? Whoa! Inner fanboy, stop it! Let's not get carried away with theories yet. We must analyze the facts, and only then will we know if this is even true. First, let's look at the source, Jason Ward and MakingStarWars.net. So MakingStarWars.net is a well-known and trusted site for Star Wars news and rumors. Jason did write another article about visiting Comics FTW, which is a comic book store in Santa Rosa, California. In fact, on Comic FTW's Facebook page, the cover photo features Dave Filoni. So we know that people from Lucasfilm, in fact, people who are in the know on Star Wars Rebels, were at Comics FTW. So Jason's story begins to make a lot more sense. But is it really possible that all those characters will be in the same episode? Well, maybe. I don't want to say it couldn't happen. In fact, in my last theory crafting video, I said it might. But at the moment, I don't see how all those different characters' storylines would fit together. I definitely think that having all those characters in the same episode would overpower the importance of our small-scale Rebels. Which is something that Dave Filoni and the other Rebels writers have explicitly said. So, what will happen? Well, Tarkin has a plan of what to do with Kanan. And so far, it seems that he will be trying to handle Kanan on his own. I think that our Rebels and Ahsoka will free Kanan. And this could make Tarkin receive a punishment from Vader or the Emperor. Other than something similar to that, I honestly don't know what will happen. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Will our small-scale rebels continue to operate in the shadows? Or will they be brought into the greater rebel alliance and to storylines with bigger characters? In the words of Master Yoda, The dark side clouds everything. Impossible to see the future is. But fear not, my fellow rebels fans, because time will give clarity to this mystery. And soon, we will know the truth. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe, and may the Force be with you always.